So what's up guys, today we're going to be going through the new leaks of the new season. So here is the uh, competitive de well we're gonna go through we're gonna go through the season details. Okay. Oh the wasteland. The possibilities seem as vast as the grains of sand. So va so vast that the wasteland warriors don't want to give up control. This band of marauders brings a whole new meaning to Scrappy Crew. Each one is an automobile expert who will tread on any rebellion. In Fortnite Battle Royale, Chapter 5, Season 3, Wrecked, get in the driver's seat and bring Nitro to his vehicular vehicles. I already watched that in my other video, and you guys can go watch that. A ferocious sandstorm has recently moved over the island, creating a new biome in the south, dubbed the Wasteland. The Wasteland Warriors have already called Shotgun on owning the place. They did ride in with the sandstorm, after all. The screw moves as fast as their decked out cars, proven pla proven by the places they've already established. Redline rig? Okay. Looks like that's gonna be the fallout area. And the nitro well, Redline Rig is run by run by the Mechanicus, the Wayland the Wasteland Warriors Master Mechanic. What's a Nitro? Whether you're in a car or not, it'll make you feel impressively powerful. Oh, so it's the new Coca Cola, I'm guessing? Nobody knows chaos and destruction more than Ringmaster Scar. So it makes sense she's the master of ceremonies at the circus and car spectacle. The Nitro Dome. Brutal Beachhead. So it's the shark. Just the shark. Brutal Beachhead is the base of operations for the Wasteland Warriors. Here you can find other than the Wasteland Warriors master muscle, Megalodon. Be warned, it doesn't take long for his rage to surface. There's more to discover in the Wasteland, including snooty steps, Turn sandy steps. Okay. Go nitro. Across the island, you may find nitro splash and nitro barrel. So basically, splash barrels. Both chip from Redline Rig. Nitro splash is a portable nitro container you can throw down or infuse to your car or yourself with a nitro. Nitro barrels are nitro containers and nitro ion content. I just said nitro way too many times. There, I did it again. Propelled by the seam inside, the barrels, nitro barrels, will fly off if you hit them. Then explode on landing. Drive away without looking back. Nitro's nitro typical perk. In this temporary state, expect the following advantages. Driving speed increase. So just nitrous? Oh... Oh, that's why they call it Nitro. Explosive rambling power that deals damage and knockback. That's crazy. Fuel consumption decrease. What is this? Roids for cars. Buff to attack. Buff to attach tech mods. Okay. Nitrified player. Movement speed increase. Okay. Explosive bashing power. <laughs> That deals damage and knockback. Bust through builds. Most be I bet that. Please don't be in comp. Please don't be in comp. Stamina consumption decrease. Print longer. Pro. This is OP. Reload speed decrease. Fall damage immunity. So I can just jump off Mount Olympus. <laughs> okay. Nitro fist. So those look like the uh, you guys remember like the gloves looking thing? I make you go invisible in chapter four. It looks like those. When you're ready for a heavy-handed approach, put on nitro fist to perform a three times punch combo, uppercut, or an aerial punch that dashes you through the air. Nitro fist has four charges, each one recharging every eight seconds. The uppercut and aerial punch use one charge, while the three times punch combo uses none. If you put aerial punch the ground instead of the air, the impact will be meteorologic for the surrounding enemies. Meteorite. Fortify your ride. Vehicle mods are back. Cow catchers and chonkers off-road tires, please don't be in comp yet again, are unvaulted while four new mods are joining the ride. Attach one of these. Machine gun turret. So it's going to be one, at the, one of the ones that like lavish layer from season one. So it's going to be... This thing. Actually. Sure. Grenade launch Grenade launcher turret? Someone called this still littering, but the grenades get rid of themselves by 
Oh wait, I didn't read the machine gun. Turret. Have a passenger to fire a machine gun while someone else drives. Okay. Do more damage to players and objects on impact. Spike, bumper, cow catcher. Boost your ramming power and give your car some defensive armor. Bulletproof tires. Tire slot, of course. I mean. Tired of tire poppers? Make sure your tires are indestructible. Tire slot. Make sure your car... Make your car more often friendly, especially useful if you're not driving an SUV. No mechanical experience is required. Just hit a vehicle mod box. Why? Who asked for vehicle mods? Okay, probably about everyone but me. Fair enough. Okay. No mechanical experience is required. Just hit a vehicle mechanic. Vehicle mod box, I'm sorry. With your car to attach the mod. You'll know when you when which you mod you're attaching based on the symbol on the box. Already has something in a slot. You can replace this mod with a different one or bring a new version of the existing one. You may want to replace the mod if its health bar is getting low. No, the bulletproof tires don't have health since they're indestructible. Wait, so you just put them on the car and it's there all game? Why did mean sorta? Is the health of your car itself low. Hit a repair box or take matters into your own hands with the unvaulted repair torch. Repair torch can also fix the pop tire or broken window. Get a taste of the future with your next pit stop. Service stations have replaced gas pumps, refueling your car's gas and health while parked on the station pad. For well, that car looks sick. Oh, okay, so, so that's for the G wagon. Okay, so they're finally bringing skins for the G wagon. Starting in Chapter 5, Season 1, you'll be able to turn sport cars on, on the island into your equipped car. Doesn't change it, just looks different. Now you can do the same with SUVs! No one asked! Yuppie! There will be certain car bodies in the shop compatible with SUVs, instead of sports cars. Also, select SUV car bodies from Rocket League will become a cross game eligible in the future. Why? But both a big game, so it makes sense. To start things off, the beh the behemoth bundle is in the shop, containing items from the new Wastelander set. I bet you right now it's going to be 5k. It's going to be 5 grand V-Bucks. Right now. Okay, the behemoth bundle includes the behemoth car body, the flames behemoth decal, lightning behemoth decal. Okay, I'm not even going to say behemoth anymore. I'm just going to say the stripes behemoth decal, wings behem behemoth decal. Behemoth Blackout Decal. Behemoth. So the car's called Behemoth. Behemoth Dune Hunter Decal. Behemoth Off Road Wheels. Has 10 paint colors. Behemoth Blackout Wheels. Split between showing a sports car or SUV in the Nitro Dome. In the locker, you'll have separate separate loadouts for both. Okay, so another useless tab. It could be in one. The Behemoth Bundle items will be eligible for cross game ownership with Rocket League at a later date. The behemoth offer wheels are not better off than other wheels. They just look the part. Okay, cool. Lose the battle bus, win the war. Dude, this thing is back. I'm so you. Okay. After being dropped from the battle bus, fight for control of a coveted war bus. There are two being driven by patrollers on the island. Hijack one and start a road trip of this array. Each war bus comes rigged with two cannons on the top and a horn that produces an EMP pulse. EMP does, does damage to nearby enemy shields. It's a really simple for vehicles. These monster mobiles hold EMP pulses that each recharge after a short time. Create a roadblock with a boom bolt. All it is is a hammer shotgun stuck into a laser. Stuck into a crossbow. Cars are unconquerable when you're in a jam, traffic or otherwise. Whoa, okay, never mind. Break out a boom bolt, fast firing multiple crossbow that shoots explosive bolts. After a few good hits on the whiplash, it'll be totaled enough to cause traffic back up all the way from Wreckers Railways to the end of the world. 
people actually wanted to spend time in, in the abyss willingly. Okay, so basically, those two POIs are still gonna exist. Grim Gate. Wait, I know what's gone. I know what's gone. Hold on. Yeah, a lot of a lot of PO, like four POIs are staying. Two of the new ones. No, not. I'm not sure if Mount Olympus is. The Wasteland Warriors can either either be found in their individual lairs or showboating in a convoy. If you can engineer a way to beat them, a truckload of awards of wood. Exterminate the mechanics. Mechan. Mechan. I give up. Upon being eliminated, the mechanist will drop her meta metabolism. A meta me me medallion. The me the mechanist medallion will regenerate your shield over time. If you defeat her inside the red land rig, use this medallion to open up the garage holding her car. She's in a convoy. You'll have to seize her seize her modded up automobile by force. Whether you whether you defeat her, you'll also get a mythic weapon. The mechanist combat assault rifle. Okay, ugly odd girl. Conquer Ringmaster Scar. So it's basically Lion King this season. Cool. Putting an end to Ringmaster Scar's show, her medallion will drop after elimination. Ringmaster Scar's medallion will give you infinite amp. Defeat Ringmaster Scar at the Nitro Dome to open the garage hiding her car. Is she in a convoy? Defeat her there to capture her kitted out ride. With her pre preference for extravagance, she'll drop the mythic Ringmaster's Boom Bolt on Elimination too. So it's another it's another Zeus thing. They couldn't drop it. Overwhelm Megalodon. Okay. This car looks ugly. Very ugly. So you're going to so you're going straight to the top. Megalodon's medallion will infuse you with infinite nitro. Oh my gosh, it's already OP. Ni the nitro doesn't stop there. Yes, defeating Me Megalodon means you can steal his rider like uh, like the other wasteland warriors, but it also means you can get the mythic Megalodon's nitro fist. Okay, I'm feeling. It. Speaking of infinite nitro, all three of the warriors' cars have infinite nitro, so that they'll just run away from you. Medallions put you on the map, which is helpful for anyone on a road trip to take you down. So this is just car spanning season. If you have a medallion in your inventory, you'll be marked on the opponent's map. The more medallions you have, the more precise the radius of your exact location. Is that that thirst with the new Coca-Cola? We got it, bro. We got it. The wasteland is a pretty apocalyptic place. Like there's was some kind of falling out. Really? I wonder what they would be referencing. Yeah, Fallout, if, if you're living under a rock. Um, the Wasteland is a pretty apocalyptic place. Like, there was some kind of falling out. Indulge yourself in these trying times with a nice cold bottle of Nuka Cola. So, a bit of health, and over time, some chill. So, it's basically like a nurse slurp juice, I'm pretty sure. Kind cat. Okay, so it's like the blue plants are in wild season. Chapter 4, season 3. Remember, it's not the Wasteland itself that's a uh, oppressive. It's a what infamous warriors. Pickaxe a slurp cactus and splash healing cactus fruit around you. You don't want to get out of your car? Try through the cactus, heal yourself and your ve vehicle. Okay. Old weapons that aren't a waste. Don't even try to keep that new car smell. Unvaulted and carried over weapons are at your disposal for the chapter five season three. Cerberus Gatekeeper. Okay guys, Peter Ron is winning grants. It's announced. Good job. Combat shotgun. Gatekeeper shotgun. Hammer pump. Oscar's frenzy other shotgun. Wait, Oscar? No, like. Warforged assault rifle. Tactical assault rifle balance changes. Increase damage at long distance. Reduce recoil. Reduce bullets. Right. Okay, good. I think it's going to be OP. Okay. Enforcer AR. So they bring back a gun that nobody wanted. Balance changes, increased damage, increased fire rate, increased critical hit multiplier, Thunderburst SMG, Harbinger SMG, Huntress DMR, Ranger Pistol, Hankin, thank God. 
Thank God for the th Thunderbirds. But Oscar's back? What's the next? Pe Peter? Peter. Room balance changes. Increase damage at long distances. Increase projectile speed. Shockwave grenade. Technically not a weapon. Okay. Okay, HUD. Um, we'll just... We don't really... Okay, we'll, we'll read this real quick and then um, I'll end the video. Because this has probably been a pretty long video. The Rage Battle Pass releases at the same time at, as Fortnite Battle Royale Chapter 5 Season 3 worked. Play it on mobile. Yeah, this is not important. Right now, you can read it if you want. Pause the video. Right. With the Fortnite Battle Pass, unlock it in Fortnite rewards by earning XP across Fortnite Battle Royale, Creator Made Islands, Lego Fortnite, Rocket Racing, and Fortnite Festival. Some of the rewards in the Rank, rank Rex Battle Pass are outfits of the Wasteland Warriors and other Wastelanders like Russ. Purchase the Wreck Battle Pass for only 950 V Bucks and earn one, up to 1,500 V Bucks by leveling up, leveling up in it. Okay, so I actually have enough V Bucks for this. With the Wreck Battle Pass purchase, you can keep leveling up to unlock these outfits. The me the mechanists unlocked right away. Controller fire. Okay. Rust shred the wasteland. Wait, isn't that an old skin? Okay. Peabody, Phil, Earl, and Axel. Three piece and Patco. Podco. So that's who Dummy was talking about. If you're not on the storyline, he says, I wonder if my buddy Axel has any makeover ideas for me. So one of those dudes is Axel. Ringmaster's car. Rule the chaos, run the destruction. Someone in here. That guy. I think. T sixty power armor, courtesy of the Brotherhood of Steel. Thank you. Thank you. Bright Raider, Drive Fast, Burn Bright, Megalodon, Nitro Fueled Apex Predator. Wasteland Warriors aren't crying, aren't the only forces of the Wasteland. Unlock the Wastelander Magento outfit from Battle Pass Quest in July. The Rex Battle Pass will be available to progress until August 16, 2024, 2 a.m. Eastern Time. Competitors, bring it. Bring on the new season of Battle Royale. You can learn about Season 3's competitive offerings in our competitive details blog post. Chapter 5 Season 3 is not in tournaments. Chapter, Chapter 5 Season 3 features not tournaments include, but are limited to, bulletproof tires, chunkers off-road tires, cow catchers, drivable vehicles, grenade launcher turrets, machine gun turrets, off-road tires, repair boxes, repair torches, service stations, shockwave grenades, spike bumpers, vehicle mod boxes, war buses. Okay, so there's a lot of fuel take is on, uh, knock yourself out until the wreck. So wreck ends on August 16th at 2 a.m. Eastern Time. I will be up for that, and I'll be up for Season 4, guys. But as we went till then, please watch my other video if you haven't already. And make sure to like and subscribe, because I got up at, like, 4 a.m. to make this video. And stream. Alright, see you guys later.